Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. I've got my controller. Because Gamepad is highly recommended. I uh, have thunder. Bitter battle. Time to wake up. Word, okay. And we're in. Uh, this is Fury, um, a game developed by, I think, French developers with the uh, author, or no, the artist of Afro Samurai. Um, Fury, recommended. Furier and Promenade. There are no trophies in this mode. I'm going to play normal. Uh, I saw my friends play this game a couple of years ago, and it looked hype as shit, but I've never played it myself. Okay. Except the prisoner with the coolest hair ever. I will keep on killing you. Again and again. I am your future. An eternity of slow, painful deaths. I hear thunder. Bitter batter. Time to wake up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. Time to go. See what they did to you. Pull yourself together. Get out of prison. Yeah, this is by the guy who did Afro Samurai. <laughs> um, if I remember correctly, a notable character in Afro Samurai is named Kuma, and he has this big obnoxious Fight bear mask on. And here we have Rabbit. I guess. Kuma, by the way, is just Japanese for bear, obviously. So yeah, with Afro Samurai, um, I like that his belly button is included in his cool power lines. Very Tron. Not the hair, but everything else. This has fixed camera angles. Oh, and that just auto walks me to wherever I need to go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright. Um, See, so yeah, for those who don't know, Afro Samurai is a manga about a samurai with an afro, naturally. It's notable because Samuel L. Jackson saw it, said, yeah, paid a bunch of people to, say, to animate it, and said, by the way, I'm voicing the main character. I want to say he got Rizzo from the Wu-Tang Clan to do the music as well. Because... Man, when you're Samuel L. Jackson, you're like, yeah, I like that. I'm going to be the main character. Every step you've taken from that cell, I'll make you regret. This guy looks almost like Indian or Hindu. You the jailer? And you listen good. You'll never the masks are all over the place, but I'm a little reminded of like... All right, so that's the boss. That's the boss I line, huh? There's an easy way and a hard way. You choose. <laughs> Excellent choice. Word. Okay. Okay, cool. I like it. Okay, cool. God, my hands are sweating. Oh. It's a twin stick. Okay. Fine by me. <laughs> Interesting. So you shoot him until... I guess the little shield has to go down? 
And then you get into his range in this little circle. And then it's go time. You can charge it. Oh, we Mega Man now. This reminds me partially of Nier. For obvious reasons. Oh, I'm probably gonna burst through his uh, through his stuff. Word. Yo! Okay, cool. We in there. We are actually in there, though. Um, yeah, for those who don't know, besides all the robot butts and uh, sad, sad stories, Near Automata is also a, a combination stylish action game and a uh, twin stick shooter. Much like this is. It also kind of reminds me of... Um, the 2008 Prince of Persia, I want to say. He's got he's missing two pegs now. Okay, so very standard. You just dodge through it. Very nice of him to send out those little heels. Oh, we Final Fantasy 14 boys now. Oh, is it? Uh oh. I like this. One wonders what I did to deserve this. <laughs> Too early. Do you really think you beat me? I was hoping. But yeah, every Prince of Persia has been different. Some of them are direct sequels to each other, but those are really rare. There's only basically just the two trilogies. Uh, and the 2008 one is just stylish platforming and then occasionally um, stylish boss fights. And then the rest of the game is just banter with, with uh, the girl this time around. And despite the fact that the game is short and not as good as the other Prince of Persia's, I still really like it. Okay, I'm in his range now. You appear to get health back when you guard. Okay, okay. We are in there. So he tracks on you like a motherfucker. So you can't dodge when you're in sword range. Man, you're a real paper tiger, huh? <laughs> I 
I can't believe I waited so long to play this game. Man, France might have just redeemed themselves. Like... France does not have good history with uh, game development on account of Mr. David Kaje. But man, if this game's French, it's all worth it. This is so radical. I love this character's design. I'm gonna assume his name is Fury because no one else has been named that and I don't have any other reason why the game would be named that. You can kind of bait out his attacks by swinging at him. And then you just got to be ready to parry right afterwards. Woo. How many times has this happened? Okay, I've now lost one peg on my health bar. I want to hit the stick to dodge like it's a God of War. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm marking out. I'm blowing out my microphone. But that was super sick. You gotta be so aggressive. <laughs> but you know what? That works for me. I'm fine with fucking getting in there. <laughs> Make me. Yeah, I'm starting to get down his phases. Like, he's got his MMO phase, he's got his big shoot phase, he's got his melee in the shoot phase, and then he's got, like, sick revengeance parry, and then he's got, like, light show. And now that we're getting down in there, I imagine we're probably going to start combining these. Your dodge is so appreciably huge. I will push it, thank you very much. It reminds me a little of Hyper Light. Ooh, the track! Hyper Light Drifter's design, although I have not actually played Hyper Light Drifter. No recall or intervention can work in this place. <laughs> Come back here. I will take you down. Really good camera control as well. It's very subtle, very simple. But like, games in general do not use fixed camera anymore. 
And I, th I think that's a huge shame. Yo, this is, so this is a, like, honest, like, this is an honest fight. When I kill him, I get my health back. But when he takes away one of my pegs, he gets his health back. Yo, this could go on forever. I might have to section out more time in, in my schedule than I thought. You gotta help it. I don't know why, but that always works for me. I've mentioned it in the past about how you gotta hup it. You just gotta go hup, and it makes your jump or your dodge better. It works like every time. I don't know what it is. Man, like, I love this game. It's a good game. I say that confidently. Even though I am just on the first enemy. But what it really makes me want is a remake of Rising Xan Samurai Gunman. A game no one has heard of for the PS1, where you play as a cowboy samurai and go through the Wild West with a katana and a revolver, and it's like a primordial primitive devil may cry. So the health bar almost works like an energy shield, like a halo. It's just that it has way more specific uh, requests for what causes it to regen. Ooh. Dodge down instead of up. Cool. Oh, it's getting real close in there. So getting health back directly on parries is really cool. Uh, the game Bloodborne is barely an action game, but it has a parry mechanic that kind of dominates the entire game. Bloodborne's parry mechanic is so like, I, I have problems and misgivings with it because like it is cool and it is a way to mix up the game. It's a very wide beam that he shoots at you. So you gotta really actually time it if you wanna get through it without getting tagged. Because it can easily tag you on the back of the car. It gets thinner as you wait though. So you only have to dodge it at the maximum, like, height, if you're really in there. Because you're being aggressive. Oh, that makes a lot of sense then. The charge uh, slash almost works like a grab as well. When you hit him at a certain point in the charge slash, I should shut up while I'm fighting. If you hit him at a certain point in the charge slash, it it takes over, gives you cinematic camera. It's like a buster. All right, one peg, one peg down, sir. There is no way you can defeat me. All right, last phase. Gonna throw in some interesting stuff. Sure. My bullets destroy these bullets. Interesting. And he was also shooting the big wide beam at me. <laughs> okay, okay. Hip. So in Nier, something that I really like is that certain bullets you can... Oh god. Certain bullets you can shoot with your bullets to, to take them down. But for others, this isn't the case. But for those bullets, you can slash them and take them down that way. I thought you wanted to torture me, dog. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Ooh, we are in there. <laughs> Holy shit, that was so cool. That's the first boss. How many are there? <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to go on a limb here and assume that this is just going to be a boss game. Uh, I'm actually sweating. I'm like legitimately sweating. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. I'm going to come back in on the next episode and finish this cutscene and then probably fight and kill the next guy. Uh, I have an outfit. This has been Fury. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, have a good day, everyone.